So meanwhile, this happened at school yesterday. Do you guys remember Sasha's Stary strip there? So we're gonna talk about that. Hey guys, so this video is very hard for me to make. I've been emotional, I've been crying, I've been angry. I said to myself, do I wanna go and share it with you guys? But our channel is all about Sasha and her disability and what she goes through with it, whether it's great, whether it's bad, whether it's subjects that are just, you know, talking about what we go through with it. So this past Monday, we had a major situation with Sasha at school and she's actually been home with me since then. I'm very on the line if I'm even gonna go and send her back to school. I'm actually looking at possibly homeschooling her and having services here and me doing field trips and other things with her opposed to her going back. It takes a lot for me to get angry. Usually I am the person who is, please call me, please email me. I would love to come to school for my third meeting this week. If it benefits Sasha, I love to be there to help out in any way, shape or form. So Monday, Sasha came home with her communication sheet, which, which comes home daily with her to discuss, you know, if she had a good day, if she took a nap, what she had for lunch, did she have PT, did she have OT, did she have speech, what she do throughout the day, and I can communicate back as well and, you know, say how she slept and if we had a rough night and, you know, is she having anxiety this morning or something medically that might be bothering her. So I've actually showed it in previous videos. When Sasha got her leg cast off after having them on for six weeks after her surgery, she actually, about an inch above her ankle area, had Steri strips. She had six on each side, and beneath it were dissolvable stitches with a little piece of dissolvable thing on the end that we had to keep cutting back as the strips kept falling off. And you know, cleaning it off, cleaning it around it, I put. Um, coconut oil and creams all on top of it so it could soak in and really heal up the wound pretty fast. So I was told by Sasha's orthotist who actually went and did the surgery um, by our pediatrician, by the physical therapist that comes to home. Actually I consulted on top of that a friend who was an EMT and I said you know tell me a little bit more about these steri strips. So her steri strips were supposed to stay on on top of the dissolvable stitches, they said anywhere from two weeks to two months. It all depends on the person. And they are supposed to fall off on their own little time. They're supposed to curl up and you're not supposed to take them off at all. Pick at them, take them off because unfortunately the incision beneath it and the dissolvable stitches could get rope ripped open with a wound and that's what they're trying to avoid. And the only things that you look for is oozing or redness but Sasha's top ones had actually started to fall off and the rest of them had curled up to a really big point where I'm like, you know, they're gonna fall off soon enough. The physical therapist who comes to our home is like, they're looking so good, you know, probably within the next week or two that they'll fall off and, you know, you can really start to clean the wound and I like to see it as it was because I could also see if things were going on underneath. So I got a note home Monday, as I said, and before I even saw Sasha physically, she went to go sit on my bed with her iPad and kind of desensitize. I got a note on her communication sheet from the physical therapist at school stating that she had the nurse come down and she had taken off all the steri strips with no permission, no phone call, no email, no contact of any such prior knowledge from me about whether this is something I wanted to do, was I okay with it? And she just took them off. No reason stated, she just took them off. And on top of that, she put a gigantic king size bandaid as I showed you guys on top of it. So I couldn't even see if it was bleeding, how the wound was doing beneath it. So it's been a really rough week to say. And basically all the school can go and tell me is, you know, she's been talked to and this won't go and happen again and we'll have more open communication. I'm livid as a parent. I would never go to her house and go and say, I cut your kid's hair without your permission and your consent. This went above me as a parent. I feel violated. I feel if I do send Sasha back, what will be a next point thing that they might not do and go and tell me and nobody's kind of taking it seriously and you know they had no permission to touch that I went and called Sasha's doctor and she's like why they even go and take them off when you came and see me in the next 10 days for our next appointment I was gonna take them off on top of that Sasha went and told them 
um, I spoke to her about it, you know, how you felt about this. She said they told them many a times during the process of doing this that she didn't want to go and have them off. She wasn't supposed to have them off. And the doctor was only supposed to take them off and to please listen to her. And they just kept doing it. So I also feel it's a violation of Sasha. She's very vocal. I like her to talk about her feelings. And it seems nobody wanted to listen. So sorry for the small rant, but I like to share our life with you guys and what goes on daily with it. So tell me if you've had a situation like this at school and you know, has your personal rights as a parent been violated? Have you been in school and something like this has happened? I'm always great to hear what you guys have had happen through experiences because I'm still all new to this and I don't know how I'm gonna proceed. I really don't. I've talked to our advocate and I've talked to our lawyer and they basically said it was a medical procedure done to a minor without my consent, which is a really big deal when you're a special needs parent and you wanna protect and love this child, and make sure the best things happen. So I'll talk to you guys later and we'll hope for better days ahead.